Welcome to Novel Tech Media. In this video, I wanted to give my thoughts and opinions around the current state of tech businesses and how to start your own tech business. I'm going to try to give you advice on stuff that I have experienced and I have saw, and I'm going to give you my recommendations about what I'm thinking where the entire industry is headed towards. And I have talked with different people about this, and I think that the information can be quite valuable to you. So let's get into it. The tech business has evolved a lot. So I'm coming from a software perspective about this. So tech can mean a lot of things. It can mean producing microchips up to creating a booking website. So uh, my experience mostly comes from developing software, working uh, for product companies or developing my own products. So the industry has changed a lot in the last 20 years. Um, 20 years ago, it would have been enough to just create a new software product that, for example, manages, I don't know, uh, bookings for hotels or uh, property management or uh, just a marketplace for buying and selling stuff. Today, the landscape has changed a lot. So if you want to come out with a new product today, you can't just create yet another software that's widely out there and that has been done 100 times just with a new flair. Of course, there are still startups making success this way, but the chances of you succeeding this way are much slimmer. Another problem that's um, very often seen lately is over-optimization. So a lot of companies are trying to over-optimize something that already works. So let's say you have a social media website that's like, I don't know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. You can post, share stuff, share images with people, content, your opinions and thoughts. And people are trying to come up with new social media websites that maybe, I don't know, combine eating with social media. So this is too much of an over-optimization that people are trying to do. For example, just instead you could create a Facebook group that is centered around eating at places and sharing places where you're eating. So there is no need to create a new app for that. Of course, there are people that are going to succeed this way and there are niches and spaces to develop those products, but I'm speaking from a more general perspective here. I'm just saying that the chances of this succeeding are 1 to 100 and not 1 to a 10, which would be maybe typical for a startup. So what I am thinking here is that the entire industry is headed more towards creating more complex services. And those services mostly include a combination of software and something physical. So I think that most software things are already done. So don't get me wrong here. There is a lot of software that can be developed for physical things, like let's say self-driving cars. So you can develop software to better, um, to increase the braking system of the car or something like that. But creating only pure software products and that are over-optimizing stuff that already exists, I think that those days are over and that those companies are going to have a hard time becoming profitable. So with those, uh, with, with just what I said, I mean stuff like yet another social media website, um, yet another um, SaaS product out there that already um, just incorporates a solution that already is there, but just makes it 1% easier to use. So those types of over-optimizations, new types of calendars that can remind you with, um, I don't know, with your watch and color on what day you have to pick up your car from the workshop or something like that. So what I personally think is that the future is headed more towards a hybrid future, a future where you create a product and create a digital environment for it. So a great example would be, I don't know, um, creating a new wallet, which you can track over your app uh, where it currently is. So I'm not sure if this product exists, probably something like this already exists, but this is just an example on top of my mind. So let's say you have the following problem. You have your wallet, but you always forget where it is. So there could be a wallet which has some type of chip in it, where you can track from your smartphone app where your wallet currently is. And I don't know, you could maybe have things like um, ringing sensors if your wallet is too far away from you, like, I don't know, you drop it in the public and the sensor starts ringing or something like that. So 
maybe this is a stupid example, but this is the way I think that software development and software products are more headed towards too. More complex products, more integrated products with other things, and not only pure software products. I don't get me wrong, there is also space for pure software products, but I think this is on another level. So it is not what most people imagine, like just creating another, um, I don't know, two-sided marketplace. It's more like, let's say in the field of VR, right? Um, this is still an evolving field. It has some use cases and there are going to come new use cases. So someone could develop some new type of software that better detects objects with VR glasses and sell this as a third party software for, I don't know, VR glasses manufacturers or um, VR games uh, as a package for um, VR game development, something like that. So I'm not too proficient in the field of VR, but this is just an idea um, that could be useful in that area. So as you can see, you can either go developing really deep, uh, complicated software that is being used for other systems or creating software that is integrated with real life products. So I think that this is where most um, of the value will be lying in. Of course, this is just my opinion and this is um, not a rule or anything, but this is the general direction the industry is headed towards. Um, just creating another social media website, a booking website, um, some SaaS service that provides I don't know, um, geolocation data over an API that is just um, a little bit better or a little bit more adapted than, I don't know, the Google API, it's not going to be enough to differentiate you for most use cases. So that's what I think about the industry and that's what I think is going to come next. So I would be really interested in hearing your opinions. Leave your opinions in the comments or if you have some types of questions or recommendations, uh, you can also send me an email. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content and see you in the next video.